Deputy Executive Director for Operations, Chupisto Elnas Jr., ayun si Sir. Uh, our Deputy Executive Director for Administration, si Ma'am Helen G. Aguila Flores. Siya po yung Vice Chairperson ng ating Printing Committee and Head of the Comelec Election Monitoring Center or SEMAC. We also have with us our senior staff, our directors and heads of offices of the commission. Pwede po bang tumayo to be recognized? Sila po yung ating mga senior staff. Thank you po. After more than a month, the commission and bank is again complete with the appointments of Chairman Saidamen Bal Pangarungan, Commissioner Amy S. Torrefranca Neri, and Commissioner George Erwin M. Garcia. Yesterday afternoon, here at the session hall, Commissioner George Erwin Garcia took his oath before Commissioner Inping. Commissioner Amy Torrefranca Neri also took her oath as Commissioner yesterday before the Executive Secretary and is assuming office today, March 9, 2022. Chairman Saidamen Bal Pangarungan also took his oath of office before Chief Justice Alexander Gesmundo and has assumed office as Chairman of the Commission on Elections yesterday. So before we proceed, we will give the new Chairman and Commissioners the opportunity to deliver their message to each and every one. So uh, please allow me to introduce very briefly our new Commissioner. She started her government career in the Court of Appeals, Mindanao. She was a consultant, special counsel for violence against women and children, Office of the City Mayor, Davao City. She was appointed as Assistant Secretary, Department of Justice in 2016. She also became Deputy Commissioner of the Bureau of Immigration and Deportation, Department of Justice, and Under Secretary, Department of Social Welfare and development until her appointment as common commissioner. An advocate for the rights of women and children, gender and development. Friends, ang bago po nating kapamilya, Honorable Commissioner Amy Torrefranca Neri. Thank you. Thank you so much. To the Commission on Elections Chairperson, Saidamen Pangarungan, Chairperson, and to the Honorable Commissioners, Socorro Inting, Marlon Casquejo, Aimee Ferrolino, Ray Bulay, and George Garcia, and the rest of my colleagues in the COMELEC, a pleasant afternoon to everyone. I would like to thank all for the warm welcome. Indeed, these are the times wherein the COMELEC is being put in the spotlight. I want to make it clear that amidst all the issues thrown towards the Commission, we will advocate and ensure that we will have an honest, fair, and free conduct of election. As a member of the legal profession, I will continue to uphold the oath I made when I became a full-fledged lawyer 15 years ago. And as a public servant for almost 17 years in the judiciary and executive, the trust reposed by the public is sacred. This trust is the very core of the public service. It is my personal oath to the Filipino people to repay the public by being truthful to the values and mandate of the COMELEC. With that, I can assure the Filipino people that they can repose their trust and confidence to the Commission, most especially this 2022 election. May God be glorified. Mabuhay po tayong lahat at daghang salamat po. Thank you very much, Commissioner, for that very inspiring message. Welcome po to the Commission on Elections. 
we shall now come to the highlight of this afternoon's event. We would like to call on Commissioner Socorro B. Inting, ma'am, to please come forward. Commissioner Inting was our acting chairperson after the retirement of Chairman Abbas. May I also call on our new chairman, Honorable Sadiamen Balk Pangarungan, to please come forward. And now, uh, Commissioner Inting will turn over the COMELEC seal to the new chairman as the new head of the Commission on Elections. The seal represents the Commission on Elections as an independent office mandated under the Constitution to conduct free, honest, orderly, and peaceful elections. Hold two more for photos. Thank you, Commissioner Nting. Congratulations and all the best, Chairman Pangarungan. At this point, may I call on Executive Director Bartolome J. Sinocross Jr. to do the honors of introducing the new chairman. Uh, thank you, Nesto. Chairman, uh, Honorable Commissioners, Honorable Sidon Balt Pangarungan, good afternoon. Uh, I am fortunate enough to have the privilege and honor to introduce to you our new chairman. Our new chairman was born in Dansalan. It is now known as Marawi City, way back in 1950. He studied at Jai Matur Iliman, Philippine Al Islamia, or Islamic University of the Philippines, also in Marawi City. Our new chairman is a consistent valedictorian in his elementary and high school years. He finished his liberal arts and law degrees at the Sandeda College, also as a consistent scholar. He passed the bar in 1976 with a rating of 85.6. He went into practice with the prestigious Seguin Reina Montesinho and Ong Shaco Law Offices until 1984. He was legal counsel to local and multinational companies such as the Bank of America, Goodyear, Caltex, Sumitomo, Dole Philippines, San Miguel Corporation, BLDT, Philippine Airlines, and Equitable PCI Bank. He also served as governor of Lanao del Sur from 1988 to 1992. As you can see, our new chairman is both uh, experience in public and private practice and has extensive experiences in running an organization. Prior to his appointment as chairman of the Commission on Elections, our new chairman was the head of the National Commission on Filipino, on Muslim Filipinos. Uh, fellow workers in Comelec, everyone, let me present our new chairman, Honorable Saidamin Balt. Commissioners, Commissioner Socorro Inding, Commissioner Marlon Casquillo, Commissioner Aimi Ferrolino, Commissioner Ri Bolau, Bulay, Commissioner Aimi Neri, Commissioner George Erwin Garcia, our executive director and other officials and employees of this commission. Friends, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, meaning peace be upon everyone. Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. I would like to express my sincerest gratitude to President Rodrigo Duterte for the trust he has bestowed upon this humble, 
public servant to lead one of the most instrumental institutions of democracy. I come here with the mission of further strengthening this commission. Let me chart this commission's course as we take this journey together. The COMELEC as a democratic institution is only as strong as the people who compose it. To strengthen the COMELEC, we need to take good care of all our employees. As our workforce is our biggest asset. It is therefore very important, and I will make it a priority, that all employees be given every opportunity for growth. We will maximize all the benefits that come with working for the Comelec. Every official and employee should be given what they are due so that in return, I could demand their best and top-notch service for this commission and to our people. To strengthen the Comelec, we will also look for every aspect of this commission where we could level up. You have to indulge me. This is my trademark as a public servant. In all my past undertakings, I always bring the organization to the next level. I always aim to improve, reform, and elevate the level of service. When I worked as undersecretary in the Department of Interior and Local Government, I worked for the abolition of not hundreds, but 2,000 ghost barangays in my province of Lanao del Sur. The president, Cory Aquino, complained that after the snap presidential election, she observed that thousands of barangays in the Lanao provinces were voting uniformly all at 100% in favor of her opponent. And so the president created the interagency task force to investigate these ghost barangays. And I was tasked to head this interagency committee. We proceeded with our ocular investigations in all these barangays. And I started when the proclamation of martial law was declared in 1971 to check on all the barangays that were created. And believe me, I discovered that thousands of barangays have no houses, no residence, or people in these areas. And so I went home and I talked to my wife. I told her what I discovered about the existence of some 2,000 barangays in the Lano provinces. You know, the Lano provinces is famous for the birds, the bees, and the dead who vote during election. So I told my wife what I discovered, and I told her that it was my intention to abolish these barangays. My wife cried, and she told me, how can you do that? Candidates for barangay would kill each other in our province. You want to abolish 2,000 ghost barangays? That means 2,000 barangay officials will be planning to kill you or what? But I told my wife, these ghost barangays suck 
the vitality of our country. This goes barang guys. Constitute the biggest electoral fraud in our history. Remember, I told my wife, when I took my oath, I declared that I shall discharge to the best of my ability the duties of my present position. And so I proceeded to prepare my report and attach the proposed executive order to be signed by the president. And together with my secretary, the late Jaime Ferrer, we went to see the president, Cory Aquino, and submitted my report and my recommendation. After reading it, immediately he signed the executive order abolishing 2,000 ghost barangays in Lanao del Sur. This abolition saved billions of pesos in regular allotments to these uninhabited barangays or villages. When I was elected governor of Lanao del Sur, I discovered that more than half of the employees were not receiving in full their salaries and emoluments under the salary standardization law, Kinakaltas. And our provincial capital was housed in a decrepit pre-pub Marcos school building with rusty roofings that leak rainwater straight to my office table. I corrected all this. And with the help of God, I succeeded in building all the needed infrastructures and revenues for my province, like the four-hectare provincial capital complex overlooking the scenic lake Nanao, the concreting of major road networks, this elevated Lanao del Sur from a sixth class to a fourth class province. As secretary in the National Commission on Muslim Filipinos, we have activated all its 28 mandates under its Charter Republic Act 9997. Under my watch, the NCMF attained the seal of excellence in government service, which is the ISO 9001-2015, in not one, but in all of its processes. With the help of all the officials and the rank and file employees of the Commission on Election, we shall achieve the same and reach an even higher level. Finally, we aim to strengthen this commission so that we can perform our most important mandate, and that is to preserve the sanctity of the vote and the independence of this commission. I stand before you today as a defender of democracy, who will be independent and conscientious in giving life to the fundamental freedom of suffrage. To accentuate my stance for impartiality or independence, I solemnly talk my oath of office before the highest magistrate of the land, the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. We will honor and protect the Constitution in every decision we pen, in every program and project we undertake, and even in every single vote we count. The sanctity of the vote shall be our guiding principle. As a collegial body, I know my fellow commissioners will work with me in elevating the level of integrity of this commission. This is imperative as the COMELEC embodies the very essence of democracy. There is equality in casting the vote. 
the beauty of design of democracy is what we preserve and promote. In our hands rests the fundamental equality of each person and the promise that they can determine their destiny through their sacred vote. As we work, let us remember that we owe this service to the Filipino people. We will not let the Filipino people down. Wasalam and sukran, maraming salamat po. Thank you very much, Chairman, for that very inspiring message. Uh, that concludes our welcome and turnover ceremonies this afternoon. Maraming palamat. Salamat po sa lahat sa inyong pagdalo. We proceed with the uh, photo ops session. Uh, para po maayos, uh, may I call on the Chairman and the new Commissioner po para pumunta sa harap. For their... request our
your staff to please prepare to come on stage for a photo up with the um, and um,
Donna, sandali lang photographers ha, sandali lang. Uh, Patahanin muna natin ang mga directors po natin para makalabas sila. Ma'am, <laughs> may request na uh, Commissioner uh, Neri. Ma'am Neri, kayo na po yung next with your family po. Okay. Thank you. That ends our event today. Salamat po sa media for coming.